What's up? What's up? What's up? Man. Now we have to say it three times. Look. I'm on break. But it's been a long day because it started early. It started real early. And I didn't really get no sleep. So it like it didn't end yesterday until today and it ended and started right back up so i went to sleep for like three hours long story short um woke up found out my plans were you know canceled or postponed instead of going to the um driver's you know motor vehicles place it was closed, so I ended up going to the mall. Need to want to go to the mall, so we ended up there, and we at the mall at like 8:30 in the morning. So the mall is closed. So we just sitting in the parking lot waiting till 10. I went to sleep in the back seat. I said, "Skip the games." I woke up at like 10, 20. She in the mall shopping. I had to, man, I had to, I had to get my nap. But even with that nap, I was still so tired. So tired to the point where it's um break. I get like an hour break. And I'm about to sit in the whip. Van life. I'm not, I'm about to go to sleep. You did? Cause... At least try to something. Today was a hot day, so this car is a little smoking right now. But that ain't gonna stop me. No sir. Today is a new day. No, but today is the day I'm supposed to drop like a long vlog. Now, I was so long, you know, I had to export it while leaving the house. I couldn't sit there and wait for it. Then, I'm going to have to upload when I get back to the crib. So, so far, I haven't, you know, put it out. Assuming that it goes as planned and it goes well. I should get that out tonight, and it should be the start of my new, you know, or vlog, new vlog, new recording, whatever. But man, I just I feel like I want to come a little, a little harder, come a little different. You know, ain't, ain't nothing too special, but I feel like mainly my organization, cause nigga, did I get bleach on my? I got bleach on my shoes, dog. How I get bleach on my boots? Man. I'm about to go to sleep, man. It's still how I roll down all these windows. Ain't help none. I'm about to get a star on my eye if I keep rubbing it, but it hurts. It hurts. I low-key want to stay up and keep talking, but I know that ain't my best bet. My eyes looking a little sexy, you know, but my chin here is ain't growing yet. I'm trying to rap on the mic, but y'all ain't catch on. I got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to leave it alone. Kind on my own. Y'all ain't really got to see the work while it's happening. Just see the results. Y'all ain't got to see it at all. Oh, where her seat cushion at? My seat cushion that she uses. Man, it's to the point where she uses it. She be the main way using it. This is dang near her seat cushion. Her short self. Uh, the loudest ones in the room be the first to get drawn. <laughs> While she so, 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 smashing the crappy patty. 
but yeah, man. Y'all know how it is, dog. All growth, all positive vibes. Look, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to be the best man I can be. Within limits, you know, <laughs> like I'm trying to, you know, be who I want to be, but be the best that I can be within who I want, what I want, you know, you know, because I feel like being the best is a pain eyes. We ain't going to get into all that. We just going to, you know, hey, enjoy, enjoy life, bro. It's like. In Walmart, it's freezing right now. So I'm like, I could take a nap at the table, then I won't have to waste the time of walking to the car. But the problem is that it's so, I mean, so cold in there that you don't be freezing. I'm like, I just need some heat. I need some heat in my body. So I decided to come back to the car. I'm like, cool, I'm about to take a nap. It's just it's it's just a tad uncomfortable. Dog. Alright, ignore ignore the pain of itchy pain. It can't be as bad as actual physical, you know, harmful pain. That itchy pain be irritant though, man. I'm liking the way I'm looking, dog. I'm liking this chin here. It's kind of a rough look, but it's too, it's too, you know, short to try to comb out all that. You know, I ain't that paranoid, but look, it's coming in for sure now. You know, I remember I had my one strand like what, thirty four years ago. Four years, it, it was about four years I had my one strand. You know, one, two, three strands. And this is the growth from then to now. Never shaving, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. And I used to be hurt because I used to, I used to like the thought of doing this. And I used to pull out the one chin here I had. Be hurt, like, dog. Man, my mind be running wild. Can't be mentioning everything. Kind of mind, you know. Be offensive sometimes. Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, dog. It's like, I'm still talking to y'all and I ain't go to sleep because although I know I'm sleepy, I know I'm in a position where, ooh, Hold the camera, hold the phone. Nate, calm down. Bro, I was tweaking at work. I know I'm in a position where I can get sleep. It's like I'm not so far off like schedule where I can't rest well before tomorrow. I can get a good 12 hours if I needed to. It'll be hard. No, I can get 12 hours. I ain't even gonna hold you. I can get I can get twelve hours if I try hard, like super hard. Like I might have to run away for twelve hours to get twelve hours. Anyways, but um, I know I can get my sleep. But not only that, I know that I can survive the rest of this day, this work day without um getting sleep. So I'm not really I'm not really too concerned. <laughs> That's the first the first problem. First problem is I got this ridiculous sneeze that's just tearing me up. Whoo, tearing me up, dog. You know, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it at all. But I couldn't shake it. I couldn't shake it naturally, dog. I tried um, drinking some tea. You know, I had my good raw honey. 
joint there last night. I'm, I'm, st I'm still sneezing, man. Still sneezing. And it's crazy because, like, I remember yesterday at work, somebody sneezed. And I'm like, ooh. Didn't think about it, dog. Didn't think. Of I was thinking about the fact that I ain't say, uh, bless you. I ain't bring a vlog to the channel yesterday because I just, I ain't really had the time. But I thought about it. But I'm like, dog, it wouldn't have been so nice. And I'm like, look, you're not really supposed to be talking about your coworkers on social media because then when it get back to the job, nah, it's drama. But at the same time, I was telling myself, like, Nigga, I say I, I'm like I'm saying all I'm saying all, all for just pureness. Like, this is not this is not um, gossip. This is not oh, Jacob's this, Jacob's that, whoever Jacob is. It's like it's more so. This is how I feel about my job. Like this is it's not to put anybody down. It's not to go after anybody. It's to express the things that I go through on a daily basis at my job so yeah I mean I get where I'm coming from or where I get it from where the I but at the same time nigga I'm gonna express I'm gonna express I'm gonna let my feelings out you know y'all giving me these feelings I'm gonna let them out now I ain't gotta slander you but you know I'm gonna speak my truth but that was it's like so much it's so much man but I ain't really been talking. I ain't really been vlogging because I was kind of I'm I was I'm so far behind. It's like to, yesterday I was uploading stuff, just pushing stuff together, and it's like I was trying to put it out, but I was getting unorganized. I didn't know which video was supposed to be posted first. I didn't know if I grouped the videos yet. I didn't know if I double posted videos. Honestly, I don't even know if I made, I know I ain't make sure. I didn't know if I had anything else I had to cut out those videos. I took a chance. I took a chance and I just said, I genuinely try to keep all my videos PG-13 <laughs> and you know my phone been clean <laughs> you know I ain't <laughs> out here doing nothing crazy so Sorry for this, because it's still ongoing. Brief intervention. Intervention, yeah. But, dog. Uh, yeah, man. Um, I know I, I had to delete something for Sade. Something she wasn't comfortable with, but I remembered that part. I got rid of that. Fast forward it, you know, audio cut. But um, on the end of me, like uh, anything else, I'm like, ah, uh, oh well. I know, like, I had sat down on the toilet. And I was in frame when I thought I wasn't, but I know I had my underwear on, so I feel like I'm straight. Bro, That the video is three hours and 17 minutes long. I am not going to scrub. I am not going to scrub and look for something. No, bro. I, I, look. Hopefully we straight. Bro, is that a star? Bro, that's a mini star. I gotta stop rubbing my eye dog. I caught it in time to not get bigger, but that is that's terrible. Man, 
so so many things that I like was thinking, talk about, talk about while I was talking, and it's like I couldn't even get to them. I was just, ugh, popping things in my brain, but I still got one of them up there, so I'm gonna, I'm just talking, speak on it. I ain't really really care for it, but um, at jobs, okay, this one that I did want to speak on. You got like this is how I know. I don't want to work for anybody. I don't. And it's mainly because, like, you don't really pick your boss. You can pick your boss by choosing the right job that has a boss. But, you know, typically when you apply for jobs, you don't, um, I want this manager. Um, yeah, mm, you don't pick and choose. Like, they already be in the position. So you don't know, you know, what what's, you know, going on. And when you at low entry jobs, in my opinion, well, no, it's in my opinion. I ain't got to say in my opinion. I'm tired of saying in my opinion, dog. I'm tired of doing it. Look. A lot of entry level jobs. Sometimes you don't even necessarily pick your job description. And I say that because it's not really, the job titles don't really be descriptive. In my experience, there's been a lot of situations where, you know, I apply for a job and, you know, you find out you're doing more stuff or different things along the way. And you might not find out what you're doing until along the way like a lot of jobs don't have good training entry level like this when I'm in right now so I don't know man is that but as far as like management um so you know Walmart is a big you know corporation whatever la la not even trying to dig too much into it because it's not just here per se. It's just at jobs, you got your people who don't necessarily want to do their job. Or, you know, they do the bare minimum. And it's like, not even not even that. I won't even sugar, I won't even boost on them. I won't cap, whatever. I won't even lie on them. I can't say that they do their bare minimum, but it's like a lot of times people claim to, you know, be there for, you know, the people, but when it's relations or whatever, but, or even just managers. I'm so glad I ain't spit on myself. Trying to, you know, you know, say they there when you to help you all this, but when it's come down to you actually asking questions or asking for something that, you know, is, you know, part of the thing, they act like you ain't supposed to ask them, you know, for example, just like, okay, you get a job, you get, you know, benefits or something with the job, let's say breaks, oh, uh, you get a certain break, supposed to get two, they this job per se um get your first break you ask about the second break it could be a problem now i won't even sit here and act like that was a problem that was not a problem in this job i won't boost to act like it was <coughs> it's just i didn't speak up on it because i ain't tripping on it but there's been situations where I didn't get my set, my 15, my second 15 minute break. I ain't crying about it, but it's like, mm, okay. Um, what's more so the problem is like, okay, yesterday was payday. I only know that because other niggas got paid. And it's like, also, I was told it was payday. 
by the person that was supposed to give me my check. But they told me that in advance. They wrote it down on the schedule. This is payday. I left orientation early. I can't really, you know, speak on everything because I missed something. I don't know what I missed. <coughs> I could have very well missed everything I'm complaining about. But, ooh, time is catching up. I could have very well missed everything I was talking about. But, I doubt it. So, first of all, I, nobody was going to hand me my check. If I went to, went to go ask for my check, I wasn't going to get paid. I know it. Because I didn't get paid until after my 15 my 15 minute break, which I only took like a 9 minute break, if that. Because I was helping somebody else out. But it's like, after my break, I was clocking out and I was going home. I went and got my check. And the person who passed out the checks, they're not here today. I don't think they're going to be here tomorrow. Now, yesterday, I, you know, I spoke up. I asked my questions. And he made it clear that you can get it from other management. And he pointed to one of the other guys. The other guys that, you know, social guy, la, la, la. But he's just, I, I get a little mixed vibes. I feel like. He treats you based off how he values you. And if you ain't, you know, a value of you, of him, then he ain't really, he ain't really giving you none of his, you know, he, he too important for you. And that's kind of how I feel about it. That's how I feel about that one. And it's like, I feel that way because, you know, I go there, I ask some questions, and yes, he... he he smooth. He answered some questions and all. You know, even though it's probably not in his, you know, entitled position to have to answer my questions. But I feel like I feel like he's somewhere up there where he, he you know, is not out. Is not like out the way to be asking him. But long story short, he like make it seem like ah. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna do you this favor or something. I don't. It's it's just it's just I don't get the right vibe. But we we mainly talking about the one that's, that's irritating that I want to cut up on. And I say this to say, it's based off the way you treat me. You know, um, I had an altercation where a customer. It's funny because it's management over there. I wonder if you hear me. I had an altercation where it was a customer, and I mean, a customer had spilled something. Wasn't there when he spilled it, but I end up seeing it. So I end up, since I seen it, I was kind of hurt that I seen it. I end up going to go take care of it. The reason why line went off terribly. Reason why I don't prefer say want to no no necessarily tackle that is because. They already tell me I move slow. I move slow, but you want me to walk customers to where they gotta go, answer customers' questions, and you're giving me time to do what I gotta do, but you're not giving me the 20 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, however long it's gonna take to help these customers out. You're not factoring that in into my time. You know, you're not telling me what I'm doing wrong. You're not factoring in the fact that I got to not only put up something that you're giving me a minute to put up or whatever the case may be, I also have to change stuff around because somebody messed something up, some not in the right spot, all this other factors y'all not factoring in, but y'all telling me I'm moving slow. That kind of irritate me. That be irritating me, dog. You got me looking for stuff that's not supposed to be out on the floor and I won't know that it's not supposed to be out there until I look enough and conclude that it's not supposed to be out there. Maybe I'm, and then sometimes I'm just not looking enough. So how am I supposed to know if I'm not looking enough or it's just, it's just, <coughs> it's just, ooh, it's real silly to me. 
real silly. But because it's like close to me, supposed to be going back in there. We're supposed to be closer to, to where I'm in right now to that though. <coughs> My voice is not really there. Uh, I'm, I don't want to say I'm sick. I don't want to jinx myself, but it's probably just this sneezing. I'm going to put it like that. Make sure I turn off my car because I'm going to be heated. So I come back here and my bed is dead because I want to chill in the car. Woo. That was a good little convo, though. But to wrap this up, Man, I walk up to one of, you know, people in charge, people of interest. Walk up to this guy, ponytail guy. He's going to throw that in there to give out a description. I don't care. Um, and I ask him about, you know, maintenance. You know, it's a spill. Should I go look for maintenance, you know, which... Seem like y'all only got one janitor on duty every time or whatever to cover this whole store that always got spills. Or this, that, and third. You know, janitor that be busy, you got one janitor or whatever. I understand that, you know, you're saving money, whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't know all about it. All I know is maintenance. Last time I got, last time I needed the same thing, the same assistance, and I did it the way, you know, I probably should do it. It took too long. I end up, I didn't even do it all the way. I, I did it myself. You know, maintenance never came. <coughs> to, so to avoid that, to avoid taking more time out of, you know, not having enough time again, I decided to not even waste time on that step of um, going to try to get a maintenance that's not even, but I asked, I asked still. And he's like, um, basically, he gave me a little smart, little sassy, little answer. And it's like, the way he was talking, I wanted to flip it back on him. But I didn't because it's like, it ain't even worth it. I ain't really going to get nothing out of making him look stupid. Assuming that that's what I would do. Maybe I would. Maybe I'd be the stupid one. But basically, he was, um, got a good two minutes. Basically, uh, he was... He was saying like, uh, I hope you ain't leave the spill unattended. If so, next time get a colleague or something like that, something of that sort. Hey, how are you? Some, something like that of that nature. And I'm like, hmm. So do you not, in my head, instant, do you not consider yourself one of those? Because if that's the case, come on. I, we gotta talk about something. But if I would've hit him with that, Nine times out of ten, he would have tried to pull the he too important card. Are you telling me if it's a spill, watch the spill and get somebody else or this, that, and third? You the person I'm getting. You know, what's up? Oh, but when, when you the one that's grabbed, you don't want to come. So what makes you think somebody else going to want to come? Or this, that, and third. You know, or why you feel like you too good? But maybe I'm wrong. I ain't asked. That ain't the case. It ain't even about that. It's about the fact that the way he said what he said, and it's like, that ain't the only thing he said. I can't, you know, remark everything he said, but I don't like the way he be coming off. It's like, I'm the type of person, I get those type of vibes, or you get those type of signals, and I just stay away from it. I don't even include myself in it. I just leave it alone. Just continue to do me. Look, I'm gonna put it, put what I'm saying in shortest terms because I'm about to clock in. I'm float, I'm floating. I go where I need to go and be where I need to be, and that's just over with. It just changed. I'm on time. I'm on time, baby. I be playing with my emotions. My bad, Sean, you belly. Alright, how do you 